The South Korean president, Moon Jae-in, has expressed concern over North Korea's latest missile tests. He's pushing for efforts to renew constructive dialogue. Now, this comes as Pyongyang confirms that it has tested a new guided missile. The weapons launch has sparked condemnation in Japan, South Korea and the United States. There's been a flurry of international reactions after North Korean state media says the two projectiles accurately hit their targets off the country's eastern coast. Pyongyang's confirmation of the test comes as U.S. President Joe Biden sternly warns of consequences if the North continues to ramp up tensions amid stalled nuclear talks. Seoul, however, seems to be approaching with caution. U.S. and Japanese officials say both weapons tested on Thursday were ballistic missiles. These are prohibited by U.N. Security Council resolutions. The official who supervised the launch says the tests were of great significance in bolstering North Korea's military power. These are Pyongyang's first ballistic missile tests in nearly a year, and they are said to underscore steady progress in its weapons program. These missiles are no joke. They can be used to hold South Korea hostage, uh, to strike South Korea, and to be used in battle, all of which affect the United States. So even though these are short-range missiles, uh, we should not ignore them. The United States has called for a meeting with the U.N. Security Council Committee that monitors sanctions against North Korea. Simon Marks joins us live now from Washington, D.C. Simon, how concerned is the White House about this latest challenge from North Korea? Well, judging from President Biden's comments during his press conference here uh, on Thursday, they are very concerned. Uh, he confirmed that this was uh, a ballistic missile test that breached United Nations covenants and sanctions uh, and indeed confirmed that the United States was actively reaching out to allies and partners throughout the region in a bid to determine the proper response. He said that if there were more of these tests conducted, uh, reprisals would be possible. He left the door open uh, for possible diplomacy, insisting that the United States was willing to talk about the future of the Korean peninsula with the North, but only provided the North uh, conceded uh, and affirmed that the uh, goal of the talks would be to secure the denuclearization of the peninsula. But the other point that Joe Biden made was that he understood that North Korea is the toughest foreign policy challenge uh, that his presidency is going to face. Now, elsewhere in the press conference, he insisted that he wanted to have the opportunity to focus on uh, COVID-19 relief and infrastructure as the two projects here that dominate his time. Uh, he didn't seem to be a man particularly uh, welcoming other potential distractions, but it's absolutely apparent that North Korea now is becoming precisely that. Mm. Well, there are certainly options, but will President Biden now perhaps take a, a tougher stance on Pyongyang? Is he under pressure to do that? Or even perhaps will he take any decisive action on the U.S. policy towards North Korea? Well, definitely under pressure to take uh, more, uh, more strenuous action uh, by various figures in the United States Congress. That is for certain, although Democrats in the U.S. Congress, I think, will go along with his desire to be allowed to focus uh, on those big domestic issues that he wants to make a hallmark uh, of his first 100 days in office. But as to whether we're getting any closer to understanding exactly what his policy towards North Korea is going to be, well, as with so much else uh, on the foreign policy front, and particularly in the Asia-Pacific region, the word from the president continues to be, I'm consulting with allies and partners before coming out swinging with a new American strategy. So at the moment, we're in a holding pattern, and perhaps Kim Jong-un senses that, which is why he's engaging in activities that seem designed in part to draw America's attention back to a Korean, a Korean peninsula from which it has somewhat drifted.